As amazing as it might sound, from his childhood, James Irwin dreamed of going to the moon. Graduating from the Naval Academy in 1951, James continued with his accomplishments. Pilot training, Air Force Experimental Test Pilot School, research school, jet training, two separate masters of science degrees in aeronautical and instrumental engineering. In 1966, young Jim's dream took a giant leap toward becoming real. The then Colonel Irwin was selected to become an astronaut. In July 1971, James Irwin was among the crew of Apollo 15 as it launched from Cape Kennedy, the fourth group to actually walk on the moon. He, along with fellow astronaut Dave Scott, was the first person to drive on the moon in the lunar rover. Irwin and Scott brought back to Genesis Rock, one of the most important discoveries of the Apollo era. But something else happened on Colonel Irwin's first flight. Upon his return, James often spoke of how his experiences in space made the presence of God far more real to him than ever before. The year following his moonwalk, Irwin left NASA, retired from the Air Force, and founded the High Flight Foundation, vowing to spend the last years of his life as a goodwill ambassador for the Prince of Peace. He declared that Jesus walking on the earth is far more important than man walking on the moon. Jim died from a heart condition in 1991, but the High Flight Foundation he began continues to carry on Jim's renewed dream reaching the nations as goodwill ambassadors for the Prince of Peace. As an astronaut, James Irwin once went beyond the clouds, but now he's become part of the great cloud of witnesses surrounding all of us. He would urge you, as Hebrews 12 does, to drop every unnecessary weight and those sins that easily trip us up and to run with endurance the race set before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the commander and perfecter of our faith.